I welcome you all to the new session of the C++ programming. So today in this lecture, we shall be discussing about the control statements. In the control statements, we have already discussed about the if statement, if else statement and the switch statement. So now we shall be discussing about the for loop statement, while loop statement and do while statement. So let's study about the while loop statement first. So while loop statement means that this statement, this control statement is a loop statement that certain conditions will be repeated again and again till the condition is true. So the statement or the loop will work and it will check the condition when it is applied on the entry level means initially we are applying the condition and the loop will go on. So it is written here that while the statement repeats till the condition is true. So the condition will keep on repeating till the condition is true. The statement will be repeating and the syntax of the while loop is written in the red color that is while condition condition is always written in the this uh, simple bracket then we start with the curly brackets and we write the statements whatever we want to get it printed whatever we want to execute it and this is the syntax of the while condition so the while condition is always given on the entry level it checks the condition on the entry level so you can see here in the uh, black pen uh, we are writing that the we start the loop counter or we initialize the loop counter then what it will do it will check the condition if the condition is yes then it will go to the loop and the loop will start executing and when the condition is not met means the condition is false it will exit out or it will move to the other part of the program so this is how the while loop statement is working so let's see one of the program of the while loop so this is i think that this program is visible to all so this is the while loop uh, uh, program and in this while loop program what we have done we are going to type happy new year 10 times so instead of writing or giving a command to print it happy new year 10 times i am i you see out uh, uh, happy new year 10 times or i write print f happy new year 10 times i put a loop counter so what is there in the program in this we have to initialize we have to initialize our uh, uh, number i that is it will take the value 1 and we are declaring it that the number 1 is our integer value so the program here has integer i equal to 1 and how many times we want to get it printed that is our condition so i want to get my happy new year printed 10 times so it will write int i equal to 1 while then simple bracket start i less than equal to 10 means the loop will go on repeating itself till the i value is less than equal to 10 means it will move and it will repeat till i is taking 10 values so we had already seen in the while statement syntax that this while statement is used in the entry level so here means the condition is checked at the entry level so it will write printf happy new year so it will go on repeating i have used a escape sequence slash n so each happy new year will be printed in the next line so happy new year happy new year will be printed and here is the increment operator i plus plus this is the loop operator so i plus plus means that the when one value is true for i equal to one it will write happy new year then it will go to the second one that i plus plus so initially i plus i value was one so when it goes to i plus plus it will increment the value of 1 by 2. So it will take i plus plus will take the value of 2 now and then again it will go to the while condition. So while condition is now 2. i is 2 now so it will check 2 is less than equal to 10. 
so it will say yes two is less than 10 so again it will write print it will write happy new year then it will again go to the loop counter now it has taken i2 so now it is i plus plus so two plus one will be three again it will check the condition of the i so it will take three is less than 10 so it will say yes the condition is true so again it will print happy new year and this loop will <coughs> go on repeating till the condition is true so when it will go to 9 when i has taken the value 9 it will print again happy new year and then it will move to the loop counter that is the i plus plus so it will add the value 9 plus 1 10 and then it will again check that 9 is or 10 is less than equal to 10 since we have put the condition equal to 10 so 10 equal to 10 is again true so again it will write happy new year then again since i is now 10 and it will go to i plus plus so it will do 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 so what it will do now so it will check that i is less than equal to 10 now i is 11 value so is 11 less than 10 it will say no so the it means that this is the false condition so while condition or while statements will work only when the condition is true so at 11 value it will not print happy new year and it will simply exit out of the program. So this is the main advantage of using the while statement that instead of printing F happy new year or whatever statement you want to get it printed 10 times or you want to print it 100 times, you will have to repeat print F 10 times or 100 times. But using the loop counter, these while loop statements, we can write just one statement and ask our loop counter to uh, do the uh, it means it will repeat the statement till the loop is true the condition is true it will go on repeating it will write the print statement again and again whatever you want to get your function to be done and addition to be done or any uh, program whatever you want to get it done by that condition it will go on doing it unless the condition is true once the condition is false, it will exit out of the statement and it will stop. So let's now execute the program. So we press F11 shortcut key or directly press the uh, compile and run button. So a window will pop up. So now you can see here what happens. It is writing happy new year, happy new year, happy new year again and again. So it is writing it 10 times. So the condition was true for i is equal to 1, 2. 10 so it had printed happy new year 10 times so this is how our while loop works control statement is the do while statement okay so first we had studied about the while loop statement now it is do while statement so do while statement is a conditional statement which checks the condition on the exit of the program. When it is exiting, when it is at the end of the program, it will check the condition and then it will execute the condition and it executes at least one time when the condition is false. Okay, so condition is not at the entry level. Here the condition is at the exit level. So do do me kahawaki do these particular statements. So do then the curly bracket starts and ends and the statements are there. And while condition. Now condition is written in the while condition while. So here also in the while loop, you can see here that in the while loop statement, also the condition was there in the while while me. So the condition is always associated with the while and it is not associated with do. So it is do, the statement block is written, then it is a while and the condition is written. So the how the do while statement works, we initiate the loop counter, it will move to the body, it will check the condition. Here you can see in the while loop, first there was condition and then it was the loop body. But here in the do while statement, here is the body and then it is checking for the condition. If the condition is true, it will go to the body and, and the repetition of these statements will be done until the condition is met and if the condition is false it will exit out of the statement so this is how the do while statement is done where the condition is checked at the exit of the program while the 
in the while loop statement the condition was checked at the entry level so this is how the while loop statement and the do while statement work this is the basic difference between the while loop and the do while loop theek hai do while mein aapki jo condition hai wo aapke end mein likhi jati hai aur while loop mein jo condition hai wo aapke starting mein likhi jati hai जब तक आपकी कंडीशन ट्रू रहेगी तब तक आपका लूप का काउंटर जो है वो चलता रहेगा जब आपका कंडीशन फॉल्स हो जाएगी तो आपके काउंटर जो है वो बंद हो जाएगा लूप के एग्जिट कर जाएगा और वो प्रोग्राम के बाहर निकल जाता है सो दिस इज हाउ द डू वाइल स्टेटमेंट विल वर्क तो लेट्स नाउ सी वन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम तो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम ऑफ द डू वाइल लूप अगेन हियर ऑल्सो वी आर टाइपिंग हैप्पी न्यू ईयर so what is happening the condition is not associated with the do it is associated with the while so again we have to first include our header files so we had include our std io.h io stream and using namespace standard then the main program or the main statement has been going to start so we have said it it is main and then our curly bracket start again we have initialized our i to be 1 means it will take the starting value of i from 1 so this is the do while program in this do while program we want our happy new year to be printed so the basic difference between the do while program and the while program was here that in the while program also we had we want that the program should print happy new year but in the while program what was there that in the while we specify the condition in the beginning and there are the statement block with the while here you can see here but in the do while what is there that there is a do and what work is to, is to be done the statements are written with the do block so you can see here do then the curly bracket starts then see out happy new year i plus plus so the loop counter that is the increment counter i plus plus is within the do statements and then after the do block it will ask the condition while i is less than equal to 5 means the condition is at the exit of the program it is at the exit level of the program not at the entry level in the while loop you can see here that the condition was at the entry level okay here in the do while there is the do means kaam karo ye kaam karna hai tumne bar bar print karna hai happy new year par kitni bar karna hai jo condition hai wo condition kahan likhi humne end mein exit par so while i is less than equal to 5 so the condition is here written at the exit level so it is on the user's choice whether he wants to use the loop or program as do while statement or he wants as the while conditions so it is upon his choice the work is performed as the same so what is happening now if we see how the program is working it is specified that the i will take the first value as i the initial initiation of the i value is done one humne pehle hi i ki value fix kar di hai one ki one se wo start karega apni value ko theek hai fir usne kya kaam karna hai do डू मतलब ये काम करो इट हैज टू प्रिंट हैप्पी न्यू ईयर स्लैशन लगा दिया मतलब हर हैप्पी न्यू ईयर अलग अलग लाइन में लिखता जाएगा आई प्लस प्लस मतलब कि आई की वैल्यू को वो वन से बढ़ाता जाएगा पहले वन लिखा फिर आई प्लस प्लस आ गया तो वो आई इक्वल टू टू पे लिखेगा और ये कब तक चलता जाएगा तब तक चलता जाएगा जब तक ये वाइल की कंडीशन जो हमने लिखी है वो उसकी मेट हो जाएगी तो मतलब कंडीशन क्या है आई इज लेस देन इक्वल टू फाइव so for i is equal to 1 jab usne liya usne dekha ki 1 is less than 5 wo kehta true to aapka happy new year likh dega then it will check for i is equal to 2 because in the do we have put i plus plus so for 2 is less than equal to 5 yes condition is true so it will write happy new year for 3 also it will write happy new year for 4 also and for 5 also because we have written i is less than equal to 5 so when i is 5 the condition is true again it will write happy new year then when it has taken the value 5 it will do i plus plus so it will do 5 plus 1 6 now it will check the condition of while that 6 is less than 5 it will state no the condition is not true 
so it will not move to the do block it will not print happy new year so let us see how the execution of the program works we press f11 and we get the compiler box so you can see here as that in the compiler box happy new year is printed five times theek hai so if i remove the slash n and if i execute if i compile my program what i see that happy new year is printed in the same straight line in the one statement happy new year is printed you can see here so slash n has very important role that it prints the output in the next line next control statement that we shall study is the for loop statement theek okay? hai so for loop is also working similarly as the work was played by do while statement while loop statement so there is another statement which is also a loop statement which is called as the for loop statement and many a times what the uh, students or what the programmers find that for loop statement is much better or much widely used in comparison to the while loop or do while loop ki for loop ki jo जो हम यूज करते हैं फॉर लूप ज्यादा यूज करते हैं इन कंपैरिजन टू वाइल या फिर डू वाइल के जगह ठीक है सो इट विल आल्सो एग्जीक्यूट द स्टेटमेंट्स रैपिडली टिल द कंडीशन इज ट्रू सो जो फॉर जो सिंटेक्स है आपका फॉर का द सिंटेक्स फॉर द फॉर लूप स्टेटमेंट इज दैट दैट फॉर सिंपल ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट इनिशियलाइजेशन मीन्स जहां पे हमने वाइल लूप डू वाइल लूप में आपने देखा था हमने ऊपर लिखा था इंट आई इक्वल टू वन so the initialization is there in the condition itself so for here we have to specify i equal to 1 then condition ki aapki condition kya hai ki i ki value wo kab tak leta rahe wohi condition aapko yahan pe likhna hai by putting the semicolon so initialization i equal to 1 then semicolon then you put the condition and then again a semicolon and increment or decrement i plus plus yahi likh denge ya i minus minus agar decrement hai to i minus minus theek hai so the for statement for loop statement carries the initialization the condition and the increment operator in one complete sentence so for statement is much widely used in comparison to while loop or do while loop then the curly bracket start the statement whatever you want to get it printed you want the execution is written in the statement block and the condition will work till the condition is true jab tak aapki condition true hai tab tak ye statements jo hai wo execute hoti jayegi jaise hi aapki condition false ho jayegi met nahi hogi aapki jo hai wo bahar nikal jayega aapke program se so here it is the flow chart is that we have the start or initiate the loop counter it goes to the condition the condition is true the body of the program will be executed then it will go to the loop counter it will add the i value with one value or it, if it is a decrement it will decrease the value of i by 1 until the condition is true the statement block will be executed and when the condition is false it will exit out and perform whatever else had to be performed so now let us see the program of the for loop so you can see here this program also i have uh, made a very simple program again to type the happy new year theek hai so here also we have at here we have to declare our value of i that it is a integer or a float value so we have declared i is integer but in the previous while loop and do while loop what was there that we had declared i equal to 1 we have initialized the value also but in the for loop statement we don't have to initialize the value we just declared that our i is integer or a real value or a floating value because the initialization is is there in the syntax of the for statement so it is for then simple bracket start i equal to 1 this i equal to 1 is the initialization i ki value kahan se lena start kare wo hum yahan 
तो आपकी इनिशियलाइजेशन कंडीशन जो है वो आपके फॉर स्टेटमेंट में ही आती है दैट इज आई इक्वल टू वन आप चाहो तो वन से टेन से हंड्रेड से जहां से भी स्टार्ट करना चाहते हो अपने आई को वहां से आप स्टार्ट करेंगे देन दिस सेमी कॉलन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज द सिंटेक्स ऑफ द फॉर स्टेटमेंट देन इट इज द कंडीशन कि आपकी आई की वैल्यू वो कहां तक ले ठीक है सो आई इज टेकिंग फ्रॉम आई टू फिफ्टीन लेस देन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन If you put i just less than fifteen, it will not include fifteen value. It will take up to fourteen values. But if you are specifying i is less than equal to fifteen, so it will go up to the fifteenth value. Then again a semicolon and i plus plus. I plus plus means it will. What it will do? It will increase the value of i with one value. I plus plus means it will increase the value of i with just one. It is increment. of 1 then the what happens this is the curly bracket starts the and the statements are written here so now i want my value of i also to be printed theek okay? hai in the previous while loop and do while loop we had to count how many happy new years are being written so i want my how many happy new years are being written so i want my i to be printed so here again i am using the printf so when we want to print certain integer value so we have to give the control strings also so for the integer i the control string is percent d and the control string has to be written in the quotations so this is the percent d comma i then <coughs> what did happen first it will take i is equal to 1 so it will write i 1 Then it will print Happy New Year. मतलब कि आपके पास क्या लिखाएगा? आपका लिखाएगा one. फिर Happy New Year. फिर वो क्या करेगा? If i equal to equal to ten, मैंने एक condition लगा दी है for में कि जब आपका i equal to equal to ten value हो जाए, ये i की value जो हम लगा रहे हैं, जब वो ten हो जाएगा, तो वो break कर जाए. ठीक है? अगर मैं ये break नहीं देती, तो वो कब तक लिखेगा? जब तक कि i की value fifteen तक ना जा� क्योंकि मैंने i की वैल्यू 10 पर ब्रेक लगा दिया है तो वो कितने हैप्पी न्यू ईयर लिखेगा मेरे वो 10 हैप्पी न्यू ईयर ही लिखेगा ठीक है सो फॉर i इक्वल टू वन इट विल राइट देन इट विल गो टू द लूप काउंटर देन इट विल टेक i इज इक्वल टू टू अगेन इट विल राइट टू हैप्पी न्यू ईयर थ्री हैप्पी न्यू ईयर फोर हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड इट विल गो ऑन अप टू टेन and when it will be i ki वैल्यू जब 10 हो जाएगी सो इट विल चेक दैट टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन सो इट विल डू ब्रेक मतलब अब आपका प्रोग्राम स्टॉप हो जाए सो इट विल स्टॉप एंड इट विल नॉट राइट फर्दर हैप्पी न्यू इयर्स सो लेट अस नाउ कंपाइल इट और इन द आउटपुट व्हेन वी कंपाइल इट इट इज राइटिंग टेन टाइम्स हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एल्स इफ यू डोंट वांट टू यूज योर आई इक्वल टू टेन इफ स्टेटमेंट यू कुड हैव सिंपली टाइप्ड इन द फॉर स्टेटमेंट दैट यू हैव द इनिशियलाइजेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन and i is less than equal to 10 then also it would have written 10 times happy new year okay so now let us let me delete this if block if i delete the if block statement so let me let us see what happens so there is one bracket extra i think hmm when i compile it you can see it because i have deleted the if condition that i was equal to 10 there was a break now i have deleted the break part so i what i see that in the compilation 15 times happy new year is printed okay so 15 times happy new year is printed now if i start my initialization i am not giving my initialization so what will happen now it will take from 7 to 15 so you can see here the initialization has been changed so it is not starting from i is equal to 1 it is starting from i is equal to 7 so it is writing 7 happy new year 8 happy new year and till 15 and again if i insert the break one if statement block it will break out if i give the break at i is equal to 10 or 12 okay so let's move to the next for loop program so this is the for if else 
अभी हमने क्या किया था फॉर एंड इफ कंडीशन चेक की थी नाउ दिस इज अ प्रोग्राम वेर वी आर चेकिंग दी फॉर इफ एल्स ठीक है तो अब आपके पास दो कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट यूज हो रही है एक तो फॉर लूप एंड इफ एल्स ऑल्सो सो आई हैव इंसर्टेड टू कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट इन वन प्रोग्राम अगेन आई ऑल्सो अगेन आई वॉन्ट हेयर ऑल्सो टू प्रिंट हैपी न्यू ईयर इट सेल्फ सो अगेन आई डिक्लेयर माई आई दैट इट इज एन इंटीजर देन अगेन द लूप द सिंटेक्स फॉर द फॉर दैट आई विल टेक द वैल्यू फ्रॉम वन टू फिफ्टीन मीन इट विल इंक्लूड फिफ्टीन बिकॉज इट इज रिटर्न आई इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन एंड देन द इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर आई प्लस प्लस देन द करली ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट सो इफ आई इज लेस दैन टेन अब वो क्या कह रहे हैं If i is less than टेन condition है if i is less than टेन जब तक i की value टेन तक कम हो तब तक if if में होता है true अगर ये condition true है तो हमारा ये चले ठीक है ना तो if block तभी work करेगा when the condition is true when till the i is less than टेन it will print the i value that is वन टू थ्री and the happy new year so it will continue the for loop will continue till the if condition is true once the if condition means when i will take the value 11 when it will take the value i 11 11 will not be less than 10 so it will move to the else part so it will write print f what i am printing it it is printing i so it will print 11 12 13 it will not print happy new year so here in this program you can see we have used two control statements for statement and if else statement so let us execute the program so you can see here so for i equal to 1 i equal to 1 pe if pe gaya if pe i ki value 1 10 se less hai usne print kiya 1 and happy new year maine percent d ke baad bhi slash n dal diya hai isse kya hua कि मेरा वन और हैप्पी न्यू ईयर दोनों ही नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाइन में हो गए हैं एंड इट इज कंटिन्यूइंग देन इट बिकॉज देर इज एन इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर सो इट विल एड वन वैल्यू टू दन सो वन प्लस वन इज टू अगेन इट विल चेक फॉर टू कंडीशन टू इज लेस देन टेन दिस इज ट्रू सो अगेन इट विल राइट टू हैप्पी न्यू ईयर फॉर थ्री इट विल राइट थ्री हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड सो ऑन ठीक है नाउ वेन इट गोज टू टेन यहाँ पे कंडीशन डाली है मैंने टेन लेस देन टेन अगर इक्वल टू होता तो वो टेन के लिए हैप्पी न्यू ईयर लिखता सिंस टेन इज नॉट लेस देन टेन द कंडीशन इज फॉल सो इट मूव टू दल्स ब्लॉक सो इट विल राइट प्रिंट टेन आपने क्या दिया हुआ है प्रिंट एफ पे एल्स में आई वैल्यू प्रिंट करे सिर्फ सो इट इज प्रिंटिंग टेन देन अगेन देर इज अंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर टेन प्लस वन इलेवन अगेन इलेवन पे चेक करेगा कंडीशन इफ की तो इलेवन तो टेन से कम नहीं होता so it will go to the else block it will write 11 similarly it will write 12 13 14 and 15 theek hai so this is how it is working now if i take a change in this program and if i do if i is greater than 10 less than 10 ki jagah pe maine kya put kar diya hai greater than 10 kar diya and it will move to the else so it will print 10 पर जब 11 ग्रेटर देन 10 की कंडीशन ट्रू है तब वो 11 और हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टाइप करेगा और 12 से भी 13 से भी सबके लिए करेगा सो इन दिस व्हेन आई इज ग्रेटर देन 10 सो फॉर ऑल दी वैल्यूज दैट आर ग्रेटर देन 10 दैट इज फॉर 11 12 13 14 15 इट विल राइट 11 हैप्पी न्यू ईयर 12 हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड सो ऑन टिल 15 हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड For the one two three, it will simply write as one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So you can see here it is writing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Then for eleven, it is writing eleven Happy New Year, twelve Happy New Year, thirteen Happy New Year. So this is how the for loop is working. So I hope that you have understood. the control statements for loop statements do while and while loop statements and initially also in the previous lecture we had discussed about the if else statements and the switch statement so these were the six switch control statements that we have discussed and 
I hope that you have understood each and every control statement.